Aloha and welcome to Island Driver TV. We're here in beautiful Kailua for cars and coffee. It always has an interesting mix of vehicles and we're going to take a look at some of them and talk to their drivers. Well, one thing is a Volvo wants to say, oh, safety, you know, family oriented, but uh, Jeffrey's going to tell us a little bit about this particular version and it has a little more horsepower than you'd think. Right. This is a 2015 Volvo V60 Polestar. Polestar is the racing arm, uh, sort of like AMG is to Mercedes, but Polestar is the racing arm of uh, Volvo. And they've actually separated now, and now they are going to only make, Polestar is only going to make electric vehicles. So how much horsepower does this baby have? Uh, stock, this has 345 horsepower. Uh, I've got a TDI tuning chip from Cambridge, England, which brings it up to 404 horsepower. The big feature about the wagon is it's got an Olin suspension, so it's about a $10,000 racing suspension that you can actually adjust more so for uh, I would say autocross. I've actually had this on the Nuremberg as well as Spa Franker Champs in Belgium as well. So I've had it on a couple of racetracks when I was stationed in the military. And, and Being the brilliant automotive guy, I immediately recognized that this Corvette was a little different from the rest, and William's going to tell us why that is so. Well, it's a uh, ZR1 C6 edition. Um, there's not very many here on island, uh, but definitely it's an exciting car, uh, high horsepower production uh, vehicle from GM, uh, so that's probably the most exciting thing about it. And how much horsepower are we speaking of? Um, well, they advertise about 638 and 604, but it averages about, about 550 to the rear wheels. So I'm here with James Bond, otherwise known as Lindsay, because he drives the appropriate James Bond vehicle. And what is it? This is an Aston Martin V8 Vantage. You've made some recent modifications on it. What are those? Well, body-wise, I have a body kit, and I have some red accents. Uh, Engine-wise, I have a full exhaust system. And the interior is also customized. And this guy actually drives this baby. How many miles on it? I have about 33,000. Wow, he used to fly it to the mainland to get it fixed, but now he does what? I service it myself because it got too expensive to ship it to the mainland every year. Okay, well, it's a beautiful car. Thanks. So we're here with Martin and he has a BMW and it has this M initial in front of it. What's, what's that mean? M is kind of the performance uh, segment of BMW, so I mean that's really what got me to gravitate towards this car is a little bit more of the uh, performance aspect of it. How much performance does yours have? Uh, 425 stock, but uh, I did do a stage one tune. I haven't downloaded it yet, but uh, I think we're a little bit above that. With so many BMWs here at Cars and Coffee, we thought we'd give you some factoids about the company and their cars. <laughs> It's the checkered emblem everyone knows, BMW. But there are a few lesser known facts about this German automobile, motorcycle, and engine manufacturing company started in 1916. BMW actually got their start producing warplanes and warplane engines when Germany found themselves short during World War I. After the war was over, companies like BMW were banned from these types of productions due to the Treaty of Versailles. So their next step was to make the move to motorcycle production. With their success in motorcycles, BMW then began producing automobiles in 1928. Since BMW got their start with airplanes, many believe their logo is a spinning propeller. But actually, the logo was created and designed after the flag of Bavaria, which is one of the headquarters of the company. Although you don't associate BMW with motorcycles normally, they did create the fastest motorcycle in 1937. The motorcycle was supercharged, aerodynamic, and able to reach a speed of 173 miles per hour, which some believed was a death trap. Car enthusiasts know that car companies are not limited to making just their cars under their own name, and BMW is no different. BMW is also the wizard behind the curtain, manufacturing Mini Cooper and Rolls-Royce. 
BMW definitely had a jump in innovation and going green by creating their first electric car back in 1972. The car never made it to the showroom, much less to anyone's garage, since the battery life was about 20 minutes tops. Although it moved at a decent speed, it was pretty obvious to the powers that be that their electric concept wasn't quite up to scratch. As you can see, one of the best-selling luxury automakers in the world has some pretty interesting hidden facts about them. Thanks for watching Island Driver TV, and we'll see you next time with some more fuel for your tank.